Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Galetto Rossonero here with you, freshly shaven. Yes, absolutely. Um, today, we're gonna have a video on the 10 possible transfers, Corpo di Calcio Mercato, that might happen for Serie A teams. So, uh, there's been lots of rumors, who's going, who's coming. 10 possible transfers from now till the end of the transfer market. There is only 30 days left. Yes, only 30. The first 30 went by so quickly. And so before we start, like the like and subscribe to the channel. We want and need your support. It's totally free. You just need a Gmail account. Where else are you going to get free entertainment and free news? Nowhere else, just on Galetto Rossonero. So guys, here we go. So number one. Locatelli to Juventus. So it's been an ongoing saga. Juventus wants Locatelli. Locatelli wants Juventus. The problem is that Sassuolo doesn't need to make money and doesn't need to sell. So they're stuck on their price of 40 million euros. That's what he's worth. Might be actually worth a bit more. They refuse a, a, a 45 million offer from Arsenal. The kid really wants Juventus. Juventus wants the kid. But Juventus isn't ready to pay the 40 million euros. So will this happen till the end of the transfer market? Most likely, remains to be seen, but it's still ongoing. Number two, Milan and Bakayoko. So, uh, everybody knows Bakayoko has expressed a lot of love for Milan. He wants to come back. Milan would be interested, but in certain conditions. They don't want to pay 20 million euros for him. It's way too much. Uh, they're probably looking at another loan. We'll see. Milan and Chelsea have good uh, feelings. They've done a lot of uh, business together in this year, so we'll see if it can help. Another return in Serie A could be Fiorentina and Nasacic. So number three, Fiorentina and Nasacic. Nasacic played for Fiorentina a long time ago. If Milankovic would leave uh, Fiorentina, it would make absolute sense to bring another defender in. Nasacic would be the name. Apparently, uh, the price of the transfer wouldn't be that high. Three or four million euros, that's it. Because Schalke is now in Serie uh, B um, uh, in Germany. So in their, they're in the second division in, in Germany. So uh, they need to make, to make money and Nasatis would be a good way to do it. Number four, Tottenham and Romero. So Atalanta's Romero, um, a lot of rumors around them. Uh, apparently Tottenham have offered 50 million euros plus bonuses. Atalanta is very tempted to sell him. Apparently, the deal wouldn't be far off. That's what they're saying. We'll see. Uh, Atalanta already looking at substitutes. Demiral, Tomiyasu, uh, all names they're looking at. Even Luis Felipe from Lazio. Plus, they've already taken Lovato from Kevo. Very interesting uh, young defender. So, uh, Tottenham, Romero, could happen. Number five. Atalanta. So the first name on the list would be Demiral. So Atalanta Demiral. Juventus won about 35, 40 million euros for him. That's a lot of money. I'm not sure they're willing to pay that much. If they can reach an agreement with Juve, like I said before, the names Tomiyasu from Bologna had a great season last year. Would be a great fit for Atalanta, I think. Uh, Luis Felipe, also a very good defender from Lazio. And of course, like I just said, they picked up Lovato from Kevo Verona. Number six on the list, Inter Bellerin. So Bellerin has been pressing hard on Arsenal to leave. So he wants to join Inter. Inter want him. He would be the perfect replacement for Hakimi. Obviously, he's not the same type of player. Hakimi, a lot more explosive, a lot more goals. But he could be a very good substitute. So in the last couple of days, apparently Arsenal have opened up to a loan with option to buy and no longer with an obligation to buy. So it could be very, very interesting. Number seven, Milan and Ziyech. So Ziyech has been a name that's been thrown around a lot for Milan this summer. He would be on top of the names that they want to replace Chalanoglu, who went to Inter on a free transfer. Um, obviously, very talented player. He could play as a trequartista or on the wing. The problem is Chelsea won 40 million euros for him. That's a lot of money. They're looking at trying to make a uh, deal like they did for Tomori, 
where they can do loan him with an option to buy. Uh, like I said, Milan and Chelsea have dealt a lot of players in the last couple of uh, months. Uh, Tomori and then uh, Olivier Giroud. So there's a good rapport between the two teams. So they'll try to figure it out. It could be a very, very interesting move. Ziyech is ready to leave. He won't find any place with Tuchel. He didn't play a lot last year as well. So uh, bring him to Milan. Any day of the week, he will be a great replacement for Chalanoglu. Number eight, Juve and Caio George. So it's been an uh, on and off love for Caio George and the Italian teams. Uh, first, he had a deal with Milan. Now he has a deal with Juventus. Then they say his contract only expired in 2023. Squash all of that. Santos president came out and said his contract ends in 2022. We would like to get a bit of money from him if to make him leave now. If not, he's going to leave on our free transfer in December. Juventus is not willing to pay a lot for him right now, but they have total agreement with him and his agents. He will be going to Juventus. It's a question of will he come this summer or will he come in the transfer um, season. Number nine, Napoli and Emerson Palmieri. That's another ongoing saga this summer. They keep pushing. They keep wanting him. We'll see what happens. Um, the price is still a bit too high for them. 20 million euros. They want him for less. So we'll see what happens. And finally, number 10. Number 10 is Zenit and Belotti. So Belotti still hasn't renewed his contract with Torino. They offered him 4 million euros a season. He's still not inclined to sign it. I think he wants out. Not sure he wants to go to Zenit, but that's the only offer on the table right now. They're ready to offer 30 million euros and Torino won't say no. Please let me know what you think about the 10 possible transfers for Serie A. Who do you think is going to leave? Who do you think is coming? Let me know. Follow, like, subscribe. Have a great soccer day.